Pierre Le Gros was a renowned French sculptor who was born in 1666. He dedicated most of his career to creating remarkable sculptures in Baroque Rome, where he became the leading sculptor for almost 20 years. Le Gros' artistic talent shone through in his monumental sculptures, which he crafted for prestigious institutions like the Jesuits and the Dominicans. His mastery was particularly showcased in two significant artistic projects of his time, the altar of St. Ignatius of Loyola in the Gisu and the series of twelve colossal apostle statues in the nave of the Lateran Basilica. Le Gros' exceptional skill in working with marble attracted influential patrons, including Lorenzo Cursini, the papal treasurer, and Cardinal de Bouillon, the highest-ranking cardinal as the dean of the Sacred College. He also made significant contributions to more intimate settings, such as the Chapel of the Monte di Pieta and the Cappella Antimori in San Girolamo della Carita, both hidden gems of Roman late Baroque art. Pierre Le Gros, also known as Le Gros the Younger, was born into a family with a rich artistic background in Paris. His father, Pierre Le Gros the Elder, and his uncles, Gaspard and Balthazard Massi, were renowned sculptors. At a young age, Le Gros inherited his uncle's workshop and began his training as a sculptor under the guidance of his father. He also learned drawing from his stepmother's uncle, Jean Le Poutre. Interestingly, Le Gros' half-brother, Jean, would later become a portrait painter. Le Gros quickly established himself as a skilled sculptor and gained recognition for his talent. His works often portrayed religious themes, such as, the death of St. Stanislas Kostka, and, Street Bartholomew. He was known for his attention to detail and his ability to evoke emotion through his sculptures. Le Gros' style was influenced by the Baroque period, characterized by its grandeur and theatricality. His sculptures showcased a mastery of technique and a deep understanding of human anatomy. Despite his success as a sculptor, Le Gros faced challenges throughout his career. He lived during a time of political and social upheaval, which impacted his life and work. The French Revolution brought about significant changes, and many artists, including Le Gros, struggled to adapt. However, Le Gros persevered and continued to create art, even winning a government competition at the age of 80 in 1796. His talent was recognized by Napoleon Bonaparte, who appointed him as a senator. Le Gros passed away in Paris and was laid to rest in the crypt of the Pantheon. His legacy lives on through the artists he influenced, such as François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, and Jean-Baptiste Regnault, among others. In conclusion, Pierre Le Gros was a remarkable French sculptor who left an enduring impact on the art world. His mastery in working with marble and his attention to detail are evident in his monumental sculptures, which adorned prestigious institutions in Baroque Rome. Le Gros' ability to evoke emotion through his art and his deep understanding of human anatomy showcased his exceptional talent. Despite facing challenges during a time of political and social upheaval, Le Gros persevered and continued to create art until the end of his life. His legacy lives on through the artists he influenced, solidifying his place in the history of sculpture.